All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Music and Life Mindset. Today, we're gonna to be talking about workflow. So I actually took some time off to figure out my workflow. I think that you should do it too. Look, we have a lot of plugins that we all be going through that we don't even know what we have. We just keep on buying. I'm guilty, I'm guilty. So I actually took some time to figure out what I have. I had no idea that I had the Machine 2 software. Okay, I got the complete uh, 13 bundle. I've had it for a while. But I didn't know that I had the Machine 2 software. I thought you had to have the Machine 2 software if you had the machine hardware. And I was trying to figure out how to combine my drums with uh, you know, the native instrument packs, the battery packs and stuff like that, the expansions, and also my splice and how can I go through that. And without opening up battery all the time, I have ADSR Sample Manager, um, which I love. I use that for splice and everything. But Machine 2 software has just changed my workflow immensely and I love it. Um, so we're gonna talk about that. So check out this intro and then we'll get right into it. I know I'm so disrespectful, so disrespectful. So good I can do it with my eyes closed. Do it with my eyes closed. I know I'm so disrespectful. All right, so I'm gonna be real quick, get in and out, that's how we operate on this channel, okay? So I'm gonna open up the Machine 2 software, so. Machine two, we'll do the multi output. I'm gonna show you two different ways how um, it's enhanced my workflow. This is my favorite way how I love to work. So you got the machine two software here. I can go through all of my drum kits, audition them. For the sake of this video, we're just gonna choose one. One of my ways that I love to work, I just love to bounce things straight to audio. So here I have a kit. Um, and this is dope because, so we click on this right here. Go to group. Um, no, wait a second. Oh, okay. Then we click on input. And then you're going to click on drum kit. So now. Now all these sounds are. You know, activate them just like my drum kit. Okay, but I want to go back to off because then I can also click. And I can play them all in the key range. So let's just say. All right, let's just do something simple, okay? Uh, what's that tempo? Okay, 100. Here we go. I'm just showing you how I love to work. This is my workflow, so let's do it. Two, three, four, uh. Okay, quantize it. Uh, yeah, hey, 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 yeah, hey. All right, let's just bounce that. Um, bounce in place. Let's say kick melody. So then I delete that and I still have the same. All right, so now let's go put this on drum kit so I can find my other sound. All right, let's do that. Mm. Quantize. Oh. Hey. All right, bounce that in place. Say perk. All right, let's find another. Uh... Oh. Hey. Let's do that clap. Whoop. Whoop. 
monetize, um, clap. And this helps me to commit very quickly. Uh, let's go back. So let's say, so I like that sound. Um, what's this sound is that? So we'll go back to off. So now I can play it on the key ring. Let's go. We'll just do that for the sake of this video. Three, four, A. Yo. Quantize. Bounce that as a bass. And, um, and then what else do we want to do? So that's how I basically get in and get out, of course. That's just the meat of the track. Let's just add something else real quick. What are we at? Six minutes? Okay. Um. Let's add the shaker. Okay, um, what am I doing? So, yeah. Got the meat of a track right there. What's this sound? Um, let's do that. Let's see what we can do with that. I don't really like what that's doing. Anyway. Maybe do a weird sound. Let's just do that. Mm. Of course, this beat may be whack. I'm just showing y'all something, okay? So don't be judging me. Don't be judging me right now. Um, let's bounce in place. We'll say um, what? I don't even know what this is. Hi, Tom. I don't know. We'll just call it that. All right, we're not going to form a whole beat. Um, So that is one of the ways how I get in, get out, and then, you know, I'll use my other instruments to build upon that. But just to get the meat of a track, like I'm, you know, I'm excited because I just get to work real fast like that, bounce it to audio, commit to it. Here is another way. So, so we want to route all these to its own different channels. So this way is great for um, 
when it comes to mixing and stuff. Let's say you just want to stay inside of a machine the whole time. So, and building your own drum kit. So let's go to File, New, File, New, Discard. Um, you can, each sound, so you're going to have it on sound, Output. So you have to make sure that you're opening up machine multi output 16 stereo. That way you can route each sound to its own channel. So you're going to go to output, choose one, choose two, make sure you're on sound output and go ahead and route all of these to its own channel. And then you can do, um, what is it? File, save as, and then you can save it. So I already have something saved. So I suggest doing like a blank template. So I'm going to actually open it and you can open it later. So file, open, discard, default drums. So all of these sounds are routed to its own channel. So let's say, so I can open up any drum kit. It stays routed to its own channel. Um, and so let's actually, let's start using my own drums. So machine two, everything's in here. You go to, um, so how to do that, you would just go to file. This is for people who, you know, I'm learning all this stuff. So if you never used it, you know, hey, I'm showing you. File, preferences, library, no, plugins, locations. Actually, oh, sorry. Yes, library and then user. And this is where you can add all your um, drum sounds and stuff. So user, add your libraries. And then it puts in all your drum kits. So let's go to, oh, okay, one shots. And then you click the arrow, choose your folder. I want that folder. And then it goes through all the subfolders in there. Shout out to Echo Soundworks. I bought like a grip of their stuff. Um, so let's just go to Coda Bonus. And then also more sub banks. So drums. Then you know, I could choose like that. So I want to kick. Just slide it on in there. Let's say I want to snap. Snap. So, cool thing. So now I'm going to open up my mixer. I'm going to click this arrow since I routed all of those to its own channel. Click the arrow. This plus sign. I'm going to go ahead and let all of those I'm going to highlight all of these. Um, shift, and then I'm going to control click, create track. So now all of these tracks are the machine tracks. So, and each one is on its own separate channel. So the kick is the main one. So as I go down, so then you can name them. So this is the kick. Um, let that open there. You know, hi hat, whatever. And so when I record, so let's say I want to, I hear the clap. So I just hit click on that, record. And so now that's just the clap. And then I can put my own effects on there and don't have to worry about going through a uh, machine. And that's, um, that's that. And everything's already routed to his own channel. I'm loving the workflow of Machine 2, even though I do not even have the hardware. Um, so this is going to help me a lot. So I just want to show that real quick. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, yo, hit the like and subscribe. And I have to say that because all YouTubers say that. So like, subscribe, and share if you want to.